Guys, buckle up. This is going to be a longer video. We are going to look at 15 of the best knives that have showed up this year. They don't necessarily have to be releases this year. They're just knives that have showed up to this channel this year. There's going to be a broad spectrum of prices. So going to be a long video. Let's crack into this and get started. All right, like I said in the intro, these are 15 of the best knives we've seen so far this year. We're going to start with this one right here. Guys, I forgot to mention there's going to be a lot of B-roll at the end of this video because the intro was hard to shoot. This is the Katsu Knives CK01. It is a top flipper, front flipper only. It's a full convex. This is very, very similar to the Rockstead Higo 2. In my opinion, these knives are better. These also come... They have a version of this in titanium and ZDP-189 blasted titanium. This one is $89. The more expensive version, I think, is $179. This thing is amazing. Beautiful convex grind. It's almost identical to what you would get in a Rockstead. Beautifully done carbon fiber. This is the best carbon fiber that I've had in a very long time. This might be some of the best carbon fiber scales on any knife I've ever had. It is a liner lock, super, super smooth action. This one does not have a pocket clip. The more expensive versions do, but it comes with an amazing sheath that you can scout carry this. And this fits really nicely in a watch pocket or fifth pocket. The action, I was kind of skeptical of the top flipper on this, the front flipper on this, but it is really, really amazing. The action is as smooth as you're gonna get in a knife at that price point. Like I said, I will have links to as many of these knives as I can down below. So let's move on to the next one. This next one is the Terra Mundi Knives Dirk Pinkerton Design Warning Button. And not only is this just an amazing knife all around because of the uh, the M390 blade has been ground beautifully down to a extremely, extremely slicey grind and it's comfortable in hand. It has one of the coolest button locks on the market. I like to call it an integral pivot button lock. Uh, it's just, it works the same as a regular button lock, except it's part of the pivot. Gives the nice re knife a really nice clean line. The way it feels in hand, it's squat down into the cut, really comfortable. Finish on it is good and has held up to a lot of cutting. I've sharpened it a couple times. It is super thin and slicey behind the edge. Comes down to a nice piercing tip because of this long transition on this. It is like having a box cutter, but better. It really is that slicey. Things done in titanium, M390. You can pick these up now. They're available. The best jimping, some of the best jimping I've had come in on a knife. And just the comfort in hand is amazing. So there you go. The Terra Mundi Knives Warning Button. This is the Stein Grabber Performance Knives Lamia. And this is, I think, the best current production, you know, American made knife right now. It's done small batch. These are expensive. As you saw when I put up the price down below, these are coming in from Alex. When you order them directly from Alex, about $600, $50 shipped. They are about a thousand dollars on the secondary market, but it lives up to the hype. All titanium crew wear design or crew wear blade on this. It is a CNC milled knife that comes down extraordinarily thin. The heat treat on this is beautiful. This is the best cutting knife I've had come in maybe ever. Uh, the blade shape and blade geometry on this is absolutely amazing. I did a video where I cut with this with a dull knife. I took the edge off the blade and cut with it dull after I sharpened it. It's absolutely terrifying. You can get up on it, clear up on it here. Beautifully, beautifully done knife with reverse flick only. Awesome, awesome knife by Alex Steingraber. Check out Steingraber Performance Knives to see when these become available. Now, like I said, this is not knife of the year video, but this is my pick for knife of the year. This is the CJRB Echo. This is part of that long list of really awesome budget button locks that they've been putting out. And this is just an amazing knife. Ray has never made a design I didn't like. I love this beautifully, beautifully swept and radius blade that still has enough flat to do a lot of work. It is so comfortable in hand, reverse flick or top flip. Typically, I'm not a fan of top flippers, but rays are always great. Reversible pocket clip. This comes in a lot of different versions. This is the steel one. Uh, they have a steel that is not coated, if that's something you like. I haven't even used this knife yet because I have two of these here. Um, reversible pocket clip for left or right hand carry because button lock is ambidextrous. And the fact is the way this feels in hand is incredible. This is not just budget knife of the year. This is knife of the year currently. And the fact that they even for you lanyard guys gave you a lanyard post is awesome. So I, I love this knife. I absolutely say it's knife of the year. So let's move on to the next one. This is the Matt Safe 
basilisk, and I did pronounce it properly. This thing absolutely has surprised me. I didn't think I was going to like this at first. This thing is great. It's done. This one is done in micarta and titanium. This knife is so, so light, and I can't... I mean, they did weight reduction, but I can't see where they took all that weight out, except for the fact that it's got these big, this bolstered handle. The blade on this is done in M390, and it is insanely good. The action on this, no matter what you try to do, it's going to deploy. You cannot get it to fail. The flipper tab is great. I love this. I, I don't know why more companies aren't doing this. The flipper tab completely disappears. And unlike a lot of other knives, even though it has this big space, you can get up on it and it's still a comfortable grip. It just puts the knife in a really, really good angle. This is an amazing knife. I would love to have one of these. And on top of everything, the milling on it is just amazingly beautiful. This thing is just a all around great knife. This is the Something Obscene J-Cape version 4, and I am not going to lie to you, this is the best knife that has come in this year. It's not knife of the year, but it probably is going to be runner-up. I had had the J-Cape version 1 before, did not like it all that much. This thing is amazing. Look at that action. Just, just shy a drop shut. Just slams open. You've got some of the best frame lock access and feel. It just is buttery everywhere you go. In hand, it's a, it's just awesome. It is amazing how good this feels in hand. Really, really nicely done blade, super thin, comes down, and it is nutballs sharp. It is crazy sharp. This thing is just amazing. And in, like I said, in hand, the handles on this are just about perfect. It's got titanium inlays on titanium scales, beautifully done pocket clip. It comes with a spare pocket clip that is just awesome. Everything about this knife is so great. I could keep going about it, but we would, this video would be super long. This will get its own end of the year video. Cause like I said, right now, this is my runner up for knife of the year. The J Cape by something obscene knives. This is the Kaiser drop bear. Now this is another one of those knives that uses a crossbar access style lock that have been coming out lately. I think that this is a better access style lock than Benchmade. You know, companies are doing Benchmade better than Benchmade. This thing is awesome. Aluminum scales over steel liners. You got a beautiful 154 CM blade. This comes with extra springs in this clutch lock so that you can adjust your tension. This thing came just about perfect. You can reverse flick on this. You can use the, the access lock like a just like just like an access lock, you can flick it that way, thumb flip it. This thing is awesome. Cuts really, really well because you've got this nice broad blade that comes down to a beautiful edge on this 154CM. The fact it's a little bit fuller of a knife fits my hands better than the Benchmade 940 does. Reversible pocket clip on this because the access lock is ambidextrous. Just an awesome all-around knife, and I would not have gotten to see that if Jared had not talked me into getting one. So there you go, Kaiser Drop Bear. Guys, did you know that Coffee Brand Coffee has more than just awesome on-demand roasted coffees and flavored coffees? They also have tea, cocoa, cold brew bags, decaf, and they have premium candies that will make your family go nuts. So check them out with the link down below to save 10% on some of the best coffee you're gonna find. So this is the Rosecraft Blades Joka, and this is a knife that has not been here very long. Typically, I'm not a fan of these slender blades, but this thing is awesome. Nice blade shape. They did a very good job transitioning this narrow blade down to a very functional behind the edge thickness. Lots of straight, little bit of belly, super comfortable in hand because they contoured these and chamfer these over, completely radius them. They are nice and smooth, so they fill your hand really well. It's very comfortable in hand. Nice deep carry pocket clip, and on this knife that is very thin, you can stick this in a shirt pocket. It looks like you're carrying an ink pen. Really, really good action on this. And the scales on this, I have to say, Rosecraft has been doing some of the best looking handles on knives with these striking two-tone G10 handles. I love the red and black. The action on it is great. This thing is a winner all the way around. You've got an ambidextrous pocket clip that carries nice and deep. This is one of the big surprises I've had come in this year. Don't forget to check them out. I have a coupon code for them. It's crazy sharp, all one word. You guys knew that this was going to wind up on the list. This is my PM2 and S90V. This is the knife that brought me back to Spyderco and realizing that I, I absolutely do love Spyderco. It made me see the light. 
So this thing is amazing. The PM2, I think, in my personal opinion, is the best knife that they make. Is it my favorite? No. There's others I like more, but as far as functionality and things like that, this is the best Spyderco they make. This is one of their Golden Colorado made, USA made ones. The action on this is insane. Compression lock is probably one of the best, if not the best locks on the market when it comes to all around functionality and can be made even better if you put a CME on it. Uh, the guys over at OCD for EDC make these. Carry in pocket is great, super, super light because it's got thin liners that are set inside these uh, G10 handles. I dyed the handles on this. Everything about this knife is amazing. The action is super, super smooth. The way it feels in hand when you get up on this camel's hump that I like to call it and can push down and power into stuff. The best heat treat on any S90V I've ever had. The fact that they give you multiple options for pocket clips. This is just a great, great all around knife. It's one that finds its, po its way into my pocket almost every day. So there you go. The Spyderco PM2. This one, like the PM2, is a knife that's been around for a while, but I just had come in. This is the QSP Pangolin. This is probably one of the best budget tactical style folders that has ever come in. This thing is under $50, and it's absolutely amazing. It's in D2 steel and G10, but it feels so good in hand. The, G, or the D2 on this takes an amazing edge, super good heat treat on this. Nice transition of this blade. This is another knife that squats down into the cut, just like you would want in a tactic style knife so that when you're slashing you're in line with your thumb and wrist hand holds on this are great the action on this for a very budget knife is amazing look at that just shy of drop shot just a quick shake beautifully lightened inside the weight reduction is just about perfect gives you a nice neutral balance right at the pivot pocket clip sits nice and deep and is really comfortable in hand this is just an all-around great knife and I, I would recommend picking one up this is the Ferrum Forge Knife Works Stinger Button Lock. And if I was going to say that there was a knife that I was as excited about as any of them, it would be this. This is one of my favorite designs from Chris and Elliot over at Ferrum Forge. And now they've done it as a production button lock. This thing's absolutely beautiful. It's brilliant. Super light because there's a lot of carbon fiber in this. The button lock on this is amazing. You can reverse flick off of that fuller there. The blade shape is nice. It's radius all the way down, but it's not a really steep radius. So you don't lose a lot of your cutting ability. Nice piercing tip on this. You can get way up on it on that forward choil. And the clamshell design means that they're saving on milling time, which means that there's less moving parts. There's less stuff to have to worry about. And it gives you a nice clean look because you don't have as much hardware. So you get this clean look. Flipper tab is just about perfect. Everything about this is awesome. The button is a nice small button that's recessed really well. Just an all-around great knife. If you have not checked these ones out, you should. I have a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, all one word, at Ferrum Forge Knife Works. If you want to pick these up, it saves you 5%. Now, this one is a design that Spyderco has had out for a while. This is the Capara based on the Redback design by Alistair Phillips in Australia. This is an awesome, awesome showing from Spyderco. This is probably one of the best knives that they make. Super comfortable grip. This one's done in carbon fiber and S30V. Lots of weight reduction inside here. The beauty beautiful carbon fiber and then liners on this with your uh, compression lock comes down to a red spacer on that just like you would on the Alistair Phillips custom this is probably one of the truest representations of the Phillips red back design in pocket it's brilliant you've got really comfortable handles here you've got a nice forward choil here where you can get way up on it the blade shape on it is beautifully done you've got this sweeping weird design so you've got the typical spider co hump here i like to call it a camel hump then it comes down into here which if you get up on it is a beautifully thought out grip right there everything about this knife is awesome like i said i know it's not a new design it's the first i've gotten to see it reversible pocket clip this thing is it's awesome in and out of pocket. I absolutely love this knife. I think this is almost perfect. This is another one of those budget button locks from CGRB. This is their Pyrite Warney. So it's Warning Cliff Pyrite. The Pyrite line is a very, very popular line of knives. This is my favorite of the smaller. I have the large Pyrite as well. I think either one of those is great. So the Pyrite line itself would just be this entry. These things are great. The budget button lock entries from CGRB have been some of the best on the market. This thing is just amazingly done with this blade. It comes down nice and thin. ARRPM is a very nice choice on this because it's easy to maintain. They 
managed to keep this relatively thick steel handle nice and light with a huge amount of weight reduction in here. They come with a lanyard hole in them as opposed to the post. If you like that reversible pocket clip because a button lock is ambidextrous. Can I do it? Yep, got it. This thing is just an amazing little knife. If I had to pick of the two of the small ones, I'd say the Warncliffe was my favorite. But overall, I think that the large Pyrate is my favorite of them. So anything in the Pyrate line just would be great. I had to put the QSP Platypus on this list because this knife reminded me how much fun the knife hobby can be. So you've got this really cool Chinese sword looking blade and knife and it comes down to a nice edge. This is a very functional knife, but it's also crazy and fun. It's in 14C28N. You've got these two-tone G10 handles, liner lock. You can thumb flip. It's got a very functional Emerson wave style feature. You can reverse flick off of the fuller. You can reverse flick off of the thumb studs. This thing is so much fun. Reversible pocket clip in hand. It's awesome. You got this really cool ramp here. Everything about this knife is crazy but still functional. But then you got these little flourishes and touches like this crazy milled backspacer. Everything about this just makes me want to have fun. It kind of made it fun to make videos again. This can kind of, it's something really cool, can kind of change your perspective on something you might be tired of. So there you go, QSP Platypus, it's pretty awesome. This is the Precision Knife Works Warren Tack. And I gotta say, this is one of the coolest new designs that I've had come in. Daniel sent me this, it thing's awesome. It has a hollow grind that is so thin, it slices through everything. You've got this beautiful big fuller for the deployment that not only gives you a <laughs> some of the snappiest action on any knife I've had come in, in a long time, but also acts as weight reduction. So this is a very light knife, huge amounts of material removed from inside to make this one of the lightest knives you're gonna come by. Action on it is absolutely amazing. The knife is radius on the spine from the heel all the way to the tip with this big line of jimping here that gives you not just, not just looks, but amazing purchase on this. Like there is no way you're going to come off of that. The handles are super comfortable, reversible pocket clip, the milling on everything and everything that was done on this is just amazing. And like I said, action on it is just stellar. This is one of my favorite pocket carries hands down. So there you go, guys. That was 15 knives that absolutely knocked it out of the park this year. I know they're not all new knives, but they were knives that had come in new to the channel, new to me. I'd never gotten to see them before. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. That was 15 of the best knives that have showed up this year. One of those knives is my knife of the year. I know that I said that I wasn't, that none of them were knife of the year during the body of the video, but that's not the topic of this video. I really think that even though it's not my knife of the year pick, this is the standout for me because this kind of really brought me back to Spyderco. Uh, I had gotten away from Spyderco for a while. So not to make this a longer video, you guys know how to support the channel. Sponsor links down below, Coffee Brand Coffee, all that. I don't know if I threw an ad in because I haven't done any edit yet. Uh, Temper Trail, they have discount codes built into their links. I have a discount coupon code for you at Rosecraft Blades and Fire and Force Knifeworks. It's crazy sharp, all one word. I've got an Amazon store. Take that pin into your browser. Use it for any shopping you're going to do. You guys know I have a membership. It's tier-based, lots of stuff. I'm giving away a titanium pyrite on the, to the, the baseline and premium members, the medium and top tier members, and the top tier guys get access to a sharpening tutorial series. But lots of fun happens with the memberships. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video. Man, it's hot. That was an homage to Mr. Steven Crowder because he sent that cup. Guys, we are going to look at 15. You can see him there. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> What's that, guys? <coughs> I really don't. That's my Steven Crowder sip. I don't get it. <laughs> Guys, today, <laughs> every time. <sighs> Guys, today we are going to look at 15 of the best knives that have come in this year. You can see them there in front of you. We're not going to pick anything. Oh, Jesus. It works so bad I keep choking on a coffee and a it keeps screwing up. You guys can get a lot of B-roll on this one.
Guys, this morning we are going to look at 15 of the best knives that have come in this year. They're not all new releases. They're just knives that have showed up to the channel this year. This year, fuck me. <laughs> 